confessional self-portrait poet. What lament is this old trout braying at the moon? What secrets does the snail whisper? What secrets does the cat keep? Her face is veined as the spider's web, her body driftwood and scales. For whom is the bouquet of fish heads and roses? Euphoria rides at rest, singing she swallows the night. Ellen Peckham, who until 2000 signed her prince E. Stopel Peckham, was born in 1938 in Rochester, New York. She is a poet and a visual artist and has read, published, and exhibited across the United States and in Europe and Latin America. She frequently uses both art forms in a single work, the text decorating and explicating, the image illuminating. Sometimes her poems are published with visuals included. But often, the prints, collages, and constructions are exhibited without text. Following her inspiration, many poems have no associated art, and prints, collages, and constructions no words. Told as a child that women could not be artists, Ellen rebelled. When grown, she found that though examples were few, this premise was untrue. She had also been taught that an artist should work in only one medium. In New York, the reality of many artists working with words and images in two and three dimensions and with both classical materials and found objects fired her imagination. Her marriage in 1976 led her in other directions. Together with her husband, Anson, she began to produce large three-dimensional works. When she asked him to put rough, handwritten drafts of poems she had been writing secretly into his computer, he began encouraging her to submit and publish. With some trepidation, she sent out a few things and was amazed by their acceptance. How strange it is to find my wedding self of proud flesh but a shell cage, a sieve, grown quiet and quite surprised to find I am less comfortable. When asked to read publicly, she first panicked, then became words, too willing. And the exact size of a week. Ellen sees reading aloud as analogous to hanging her visual work on walls. Retelling, some thoughts while modeling, a bas-relief Adam and Eve. Here I am, Aeon's old model for the oft-told story. My type changed with the fashion of the time. Mutably round-bellied, zoftic, slim. The way the myth is told, that garden was perfection. We the only occupants, without trouble, without sin, vapid. And though Adam didn't hunt, if I hadn't gathered, we'd have starved. I always thought that without me, Adam would have just lain about, just where he was created until he rotted back into the ground. From these minor frustrations, trouble came. And all because after I picked and washed the greens and shelled the nuts, Adam said, not that again. Can't we have something else for lunch? And tired of watching him sitting, scratching his mosquito bites against the tree, I said, reaching to where the bloated serpent bent low a bow. Here, have an apple. In 1994, Ellen and Anson opened the first gallery in the Chelsea, New York Arts area on one floor of an historic brownstone they had renovated. Designed to reflect a collector's apartment, Atelier AE concentrated on the work of mature artists who had kept the faith and continued to create works of quality content and craftsmanship. When maintaining the building became difficult, the Peckhams closed the gallery and began to represent their artists privately. Finally, in 2005, they moved to a loft on 23rd Street between 5th and 6th Avenues. Ellen maintains her studio and has her etching press there. The space also showcases Atelier AE artists. 
Though there are no regular exhibits, there are occasional shows of small work and poetry readings and workshops are scheduled from time to time. Betty Winkler is a poet and artist who has long been associated with Atelier AE. I've worked with a lot of artists in my career and all these artists have been terrific, but some of the inspiration comes from artists that are overly obsessed, and here's one of them. Some folks bow to Jesus, some bow to Picasso, some to sons of bitches, some to themselves and others to wishes. Me, I ain't got no gods no more. I'm too confused by it all. My body don't bend from the sore. The studio's press is available to atelier printmakers, many of whom have been priced out of the New York real estate market. They can take advantage of the central Manhattan location to meet clients, working to a model etching, then going back to their own workshops to edition. In these various ways, and by her work with a small foundation which supports mature artists, Ellen Peckham is able to encourage others who have not had the advantage of a Medicean prince. And she is supported, in turn, by a community where years of shared creativity, passion, and hard work have resulted in close, respectful, and loving relationships. Everything Ellen has learned now goes into crystallizing in words and images her history. Memories of adventure, anxiety, love, joy, loss, and transformation. <laughs>